For many years, these roads have only existed to us in either video or in old recreations provided by passionate and fun video games that are slowly becoming obsolete. Despite all of our updating technology and capability to recreate these roads more easily than the several generations of technology that has to do so before, many companies have abandoned this once dying section of car culture. Shuto Expressway Racing was a special gem of car culture that, along with Kaido Racing, shaped a lot of values of today's modern kart street scene. However, street racing these days is greatly frowned upon both in the United States, but also in Japan. The world is a bigger, more populous place. Late night racing was done in the first place due to the decrease in congestion at nighttime, allowing for safer and more competitive racing. But the world ever marches onward when it comes to progression, and the city no longer sleeps as many hours as it did at night. Street racing is dangerous at all times. Not as if it wasn't before, but greatly more so than before. That along with the increased police presence, a lot of the racers just becoming older and having more responsibility, or some racers even moving on to the pro scene, the times of the street racer were seemingly coming to an end. But the passion some have never dies out and so the art holds on to whatever is left to keep pushing forward and further itself. The street scene has had quite the resurgence as of the past few years in the US. Many drivers gather around in the circles to display their cars and do burnouts and donuts to the ire of their neighborhoods, but to the delight of the youth involved. Many travel in the packs on the highways of their cities to display their cars for all to see. But some go further, engaging in the cutting up of traffic with no hesitation. These drivers race through these tight traffic conditions no matter the time of day and look at it as a sort of sport. And while it takes a monumental amount of skill to drive through these extremely dangerous conditions, skill will only take you so far. It can not only be the death of you, but countless other innocent lives as well. It's foolish to partake in this. For your own personal thrills, you put other lives at risk and that'll never be commendable. But I can understand the feeling of wanting to recreate those thrills, as thrills are synonymous with the very high speed racing that we're taking place in regardless. But what about for us racing gamers? If you have nothing to recreate those real life activities that actually represent the scene we're actually pining for. Need for Speed left the market long ago for a representation for an actual street racing scene, opting to make a more fantastic version with dramatized stories and dramatized cars like the Fast and the Furious. Unfortunately, if you're like me though, that's not what we're looking for. But what we do have is simulators and a passionate community filled with players of many a skill set and a vision. Players from many communities have worked together to recreate the street racing experience of our predecessors. The Shuto Expresses have been almost 100% recreated in their entirety, from the C1 loop to the Shinkanjo and the beautiful stretch of the Wangan itself. <laughs> a racing community trying to outpace you while you try to survive. Within a set of courses specifically, many servers have utilized the Shutoko Revival Project's beautiful Shuto Express Race recreation to create servers to come together to show off our skills while providing cars from all eras and tuned from different disciplines so that we can come together and have a true role-playing session. Right down from the parking lot social gathering aspect all the way to the ripping it down the Wangan at 200 miles per hour trying to outrun your opponent while blazing through traffic. The SRP themselves, of course, have their own server with many cars that are a joy to drive. From slow cruising Civics that are always taken so I can never drive them in the server, to beautiful Ferrari F40s with custom body kits that would scream blasphemy to higher class collectors, just like custom scenes always love to do with joy. 
but even though the SRP does a great job at representing the Japanese scene, other servers represent the American side more faithfully, with the cut up no hezi server providing for us that thicker sense of rush hour traffic, hitting, hitting imaginary angles just to push through the clutter and uncertainty the fastest way you can, represented in more USDM cars that you'd see on our roads. The majority of the cars are distinguishedly high powered and are tuned specifically to cut through traffic in the most ridiculous way possible. What's great about all of this is that it's all simulated inside of a set of Corsa, one of the greatest simulators of our time in the hardest sim racing modding community. So now we aren't even just getting a faithful but arcade like re recreation, but an extremely realistic recreation close to lifelike graphics, with the right settings of course, and with little to cost to get in and enjoy it with everyone else. I'm lucky enough to have had time to put together a pretty kicking rig and that I can get on every night or every other night and get on the Shuto Express Race and absolutely absorb myself into them. But even with a controller, many in the community have come together to make the perfect settings that you can use or just download and play just as well as me with a clutch and H pattern shifter while on your controller. We can all get as immersed as we want to together and I think that's a beautiful thing. I think the culmination of the community's work just goes to show that if a triple A publishers are just going to force tedious garbage down our throats like Forza Horizon 5 or however Need for Speed or anything like that, then we don't have to sit by idly and can take it into our own hands to make it possible. These teams are always working to improve their servers to add more features that not only do a great job at pushing the fantasy of a real driver participating in the scenes in the real world, but they also add some of the fun game aspects that caught our attentions years ago, such as time attacks and SP outrun battles and so much more. So don't give up racers. While I don't really condone these behaviors in the real world, I do think it's cool in our own virtual world where the stakes are gone and we can push yourself to the extreme as much as we want with reckless abandon. So if you're like me and want to experience that street scene vibe without the legal issues that come with it, head on over to the servers and come join us. There's a lot of like-minded people waiting to teach and run with you. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and keep up with the channel. I'll be uploading more now that I've caught up with life and such, so stick around. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.